Today we are going to show you how to change a battery in your ride on car. Over time the battery in your car or motorbike will eventually deplete as the components within the battery come to the end of their working life. However the life of the battery can be prolonged by practicing good maintenance and looking after the battery. We have a separate video on how to maintain your battery on our channel and can be found in the link at the top of this video. The information on how to replace the battery does apply to six 12 and 24 volt models. However, the location of the battery may differ from car to car. Disclaimer, batteries can be dangerous if they are not handled correctly and could potentially cause injury. Do not attempt this replacement if you do not have the basic understanding of the dangers of batteries. Do not bring any metals that could potentially contact either terminals on the battery as this could potentially cause the battery to explode. The information in this video is solely for educational purposes only and we do not warrant this information nor the consequences should something go wrong during the procedure. Step 1. Locate the battery. Start off by finding where the battery in the car or motorbike is located. The majority of the ride-ons house their batteries under the seat. However, in other models, this may be located either in the boot or bonnet. Step 2. Remove the bracket. Remove the battery bracket from the car. The bracket holds the battery in place whilst the car is in use. This can be removed by undoing the Phillips head screws. Once these are undone, remove the bracket from the car. Keep this safe as you will need to replace this once the new battery is fitted. Step three, remove the terminal glue. The battery terminals have a small blob of glue on them. The glue stops the terminals from coming loose and snapping in transit. This can be removed by simply scraping it off with a sharp non-conductive implement. Do not use any metal on or near the battery. If you are having issues with removing the glue, use a heat gun or hairdryer to soften the glue. Once this has been removed, you can discard this as this will not need to be reapplied. Step 4. Remove the battery. We suggest before removing the battery to take a photo of the existing wiring so that this can be easily replicated once the battery has been removed. Remove the two terminals on the battery and remove the battery from its compartment. Step 5. Replace the battery. Place the new battery back into its compartment. Connect the terminals and plugs as they were before. This is always black to black and red to red. You can test the battery once it has been connected by attempting to switch the car on. If the car powers up and is reading the correct voltage on the media player, the battery replacement was successful. Replace the bracket using the screws that were previously removed in Step 2. Replace either the seat if the battery is located there or simply close the boot or bonnet. And that's it, you have successfully replaced the battery in your ride-on. 